In this video, we will continue with operation with vectors. You will find this on page 232 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's look at position vectors. A vector that starts from the origin O is called a position vector. Okay, it's shown in the diagram OA, OB, OC, OD. They are all position vectors of points A, B, C and D respectively. We usually denote OA by A, OB by B, OC by C and OD by D. Okay, that's how we name it. Now let's look at an example. Okay, now, before we come to the example, this is very, very important and we use this a lot in, in vectors. So write displacement vectors in terms of position vectors. The displacement vector AB, it's not a position vector. A position vector must always start with an O. Okay. So the displacement vector AB may be written in terms of the position vector OA and OB. We can do that. Okay. Now look, there's AB. Now there, it's starting there and it's ending there. Okay. But if you look on the diagram, it's going to be, if you start at the same point, it's going to be AO plus OB. But if you look at this one, this is not a position vector. But I can make it a position vector. How can I make it a position vector? By turning it around, but then I must just put the negative in front. So basically, I'm ending, so AB is, if I put the positive one first, so it's OB minus OA. Do you see? OB minus OA. And that is how I write it in terms. So that was the picture. That was how to understand it. But the short way is, they take the second one. Do you see the second one? They make it a position and they subtract the first one, OA. Okay. So this space is the second point, the position vector, minus the first point position vector. So that is... So before I start, say for example... Um, I gave you one, K, um, let's just get another color, KL. And I, I tell you, write it in terms of position vector. Take the second one, subtract the first one. So make the second one a position vector, make the first one a position vector, and then just subtract the second one is the first. That's very useful. Okay, right, let's look at the example. I'm going to make it a bit bigger. Okay, there it is. A line has points D and E. Find in terms of um, I, J and K, the vector representing D, E. Okay, so first write the points D and E as position vectors in terms of the um, Cartesian components. So, O, D, remember, any point can become a position vector. So, all that you do, because, okay, can I just say, that's the point D, if the coordinates <coughs> is negative 1, 3, 0. The point OD will also, and, and this is now just to understand it, will also have the co if you put it in coordinates. So if you put an O, because this point is reference from the origin, that's why it's the same as OD. Okay, so OD... And if I put it in terms of the base vector, so it's, um, I just put an I, then a J, and then there's no K, okay? And then E, okay, so it's I, no J, and a K, okay? Now find in terms of this the vectors DE. So DE will be the second one, OE, minus the first one. So the second one minus the first one, okay? And then it will be negative 3 plus 1, so it's negative 2. And then, if you look, there's only that J, and that's negative J, and only that K, and it's positive K. Okay. And then find the length of DE, that means the magnitude. And then I just use Pythagoras theorem, I square, 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 and I'm getting the length. Okay. Not so difficult. I want you to stop the video. And I want you just to do number 
I think just for to be a little bit different, let's just do number two. Right, just to be a little bit more different. Okay, there it is. Number two. Triangle ABC has its vertices at the points A, B, and C in the form um, I, J, and K. Find the vectors representing AB. Okay, now before we start, I think let's just first write all of them in terms of position vectors, in terms of the base vectors. So uh, if, if A is going to be zero, zero, Two, then OA is going to be okay. So I J K. So it's just going to be. Let's just not put a bracket. Two K. Okay. And then, then basically, I'm going to go on. So um, I wonder if I can write it. No, I think my if I make it smaller. I can do it next to each other. Okay, so let's just go for the next one. Um, if, what was it, uh, B, B was negative 1, 3, 2, and then O, B is, now leave the bracket again, negative I plus 3J plus 2K. Oh, now I must make space for C. See if C is fitting in. It's not so. Okay, so let's just do C. And C was 1, 0, 4. And then basically, OC is I plus 0J plus 4K. Plus 4K. Okay, there it is. And now I can come to the questions. I want to see, I want to make it still a little bit short, smaller. Okay, because I can't see the questions. Okay, A, B. Let's start. Okay, that's actually A. So, A, B. Now, in terms of position vectors, it's going to be O, B minus O, A. Now, what is OB? There it is. So, minus I plus 3J plus 2K minus, and OA, there it is, just 2K. And that is going to be negative I, so 3, so plus J plus 2K. And that is going to be, so it's negative I, I just want to see, so it's OB. So it's negative i. Oh, oh, I see. I see. It's like I'm looking for a mistake and I cannot. Uh, I'm going to just rewrite it and then I'll see if there was a mistake. So if you make 3j, it's better maybe first to write it out and then you, you get rid of unnecessary mistakes because then it is negative i plus 3j. Okay. And then number B, okay, I see, and again in terms of position vectors, it's OC minus OA, so um, let's see OC, so it's going to be I plus 4K minus OA, 2K. And that is going to be I, and that is plus 2K. I want to move this. And then the last one, number C. And that's CB. And that's OB minus OC. Okay, let's just, then I can just still see. Okay, so OB, so it's negative I plus 3J plus 2K minus OC, so put a bracket, I plus 
four, okay. And that is going to be negative A plus three J plus two K minus I minus four K. Okay, let's just find the like terms. There's the I, there's the J, and there is the K. And if I move it up, my final answer is going to be negative 2, I, and let's just plus 3J, and minus 2K. And that is going to be how I do it. Very easy if it's in terms of position rate.